Let my heart burn with love, with love for my Lord. Holy Spirit. Let thy mighty power flow and set me free. Holy Spirit. Oh, let my heart burn with love, with love for my Lord. Let thy mighty power flow and set me free. Precious Spirit, come. Precious Spirit, come. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, come. Come into me now to touch and heal. Once again, precious Spirit, come. Precious Spirit, come. Holy Spirit, come. Holy Spirit, come. Come in now and set my life on fire. Mother Mary, help of Christians, be with us. Help us. Help us in all our weaknesses. Let us pray together. A beautiful prayer. Hail Mary, full, full of grace. grace. The, the Lord, Lord is with thee. thee. Blessed, blessed art thou among women. women. And blessed, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As, As it was, was in the beginning, beginning is, is now, and, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, when we hear the word of God, we receive the power of Christ. That's why Romans chapter 1, verse 16 and 17, St. Paul says, The gospel of Christ is the power of God. Hallelujah. 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 I would like to read a testimony of a family. Ubalna and Gaspar Pereira from Swindon back in UK. We have been married for seven years, had a miscarriage once, and had problems in conceiving again. We have started coming to the Second Saturday Catholic Bible Convention in Birmingham, UK, and promised to give our testimony if we were blessed with a child. Lord heard our prayers. Without any kind of medication or treatment, Lord Jesus blessed us with a baby boy called Zion. It's a truly a miracle, and we want to tell everyone that for God, everything is possible. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. So, my dear brothers and sisters, for this family, long seven years helped them to come closer to God. So delay is not denial. Sometimes the Lord allows us to wait. So when you hear the word of God, some of you may be in some problems. Some of you may have some troubles and trials in the lives. But remember the words of our Lord Jesus. He said in his gospel message, do not be afraid. I am with you. So the presence of the risen Lord may comfort you, may guide you, and may he may strengthen you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, today I would like to speak about wilderness, desert. Why the Old Testament people were allowed to be in the wilderness for long 40 years? The Bible itself gives us beautiful answers. So when we read the word of God and hear the word of God, I am very sure that the Lord will give answer to many of your problems. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Some of you also may be in wilderness. Wilderness is a lonely place. It's a place of suffering. It's a place where there is no water. There is lots of troubles. I think some of you may have worked in wilderness. So in our lives, we also may have this experience. The Israelites, our forefathers, they had 
this wilderness experience for 40 years and the book of Exodus chapter 13 verse 17 following gives a, an, an answer to this question why the Lord allowed the people of Israel to be in the wilderness for 40 years so let us hear uh, the word of God now Exodus chapter 13 verses 17 following when Pharaoh let the people go God did not lead them by way of the land of the Philistines although that was nearer for God thought if the people face war they may change their minds and return to Egypt so God led the people by the roundabout way of the wilderness toward the Red Sea. The Israelites went up out of the land of Egypt prepared for battle. There was a shortcut to Israel, but the Lord did not allow them to go through that way. The Lord led them to the wilderness and the Lord himself led them to the Red Sea. Because the Lord thought that the people have this tendency to go back to Egypt. That is very important. All of us have this tendency to go to Egypt. Egypt means it's a place of slavery. It's a place of sin. When the Lord wants you to be pure in your thoughts and in your, in your actions, the Lord may lead you into the wilderness. So the Lord guided them. The Lord led them to the wilderness. So this is very important. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So my dear brothers and sisters, if you are in the wilderness now, one of the main reasons is that the Lord knows that we have a tendency to go back to Egypt. That's why the Lord has allowed us to be in the wilderness. And this is a time of purification. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The first letter of St. Peter, chapter 5, verse 10. First Peter, chapter 5, verse 10. St. Peter speaks about the importance of suffering or the importance of wilderness. First Peter, chapter 5, verse 10. Please listen. And after you have suffered for a little while, the God of all grace who has called you to his eternal glory in Christ, will himself restore, support, strengthen, and establish you. Peter says, after a short time of this suffering or this wilderness, the Lord himself will establish you. He will uh, give you more strength. He will give you more power. So we receive spiritual strength through our sufferings, or when we, when we are in the wilderness. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Another reason why our forefathers were in the wilderness for 40 years is given in the book of Exodus chapter uh, 15 verse 24. So you know that uh, though the Lord guided them to the Red Sea, the Lord did a fantastic miracle through the hands of Moses and the Lord parted that sea into two and the Lord gave them uh, a strong, strong uh, refuge. The Lord really intervened miraculously in their lives. Even though the Lord did lots of miracles and wonders in the lives of Israelites, when they had some, some difficulties in their journey, what did they do? They were not able to give him glory and honor. They were. They did not have a heart full. Heart full uh, they did not have a heart of thanks. Thanksgiving. They complained against Moses. They murmured against Moses and Aaron. Sometimes they wanted to stone at him. So it is written in chapter fifteen, verse twenty-four. And the people complained against Moses. Uh, the people complained against Moses. Saying, what shall we drink? Uh, what shall we drink? So that was their complaint. So what did Moses do? 
so he raised his hands towards the lord and he cried out to the lord for help so that was the method of moses and the lord gave them water afterwards even though they were uh, they really enjoyed this after a few weeks time again when they had a problem they did not remember the wonderful works of the lord but they started to complain again in chapter 16 verse 2 the whole congregation the whole congregation of the israelites of the israelites complained against moses complained and against aaron moses and aaron in the wilderness in the wilderness so why they had 40 years of wilderness the main reason is this this murmuring this complaint my dear brothers and sisters the lord was gracious he was compassionate one so the lord gave them water the the lord protect them in the wilderness but again they started their journey in the wilderness the chapter 17 verses 2 and 3 please listen the people quarreled with moses and said give us water to drink moses said to them why do you quarrel with me why do you test the lord but the people thirsted there for water and the people complained against moses and said why did you bring us out of egypt to kill us and our children and livestock with thirst so they were really in a state to, of attacking moses so they they complained against moses means they were not thanking the lord for all his wonderful works and they quarreled with god that's why they had 40 years of wilderness my dear brothers and sisters the book of deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 2 remember the long way that the lord your god has led you these 40 years in the wilderness in order to humble you testing you to know what was in your heart whether or not you would keep his commandments lord is speaking about why he allowed our forefathers to be in the wilderness for 40 years so the lord wanted to test them the lord wanted to uh, test their faith that's why the lord allowed this so there are a beautiful reasons why the lord allowed them to be in the wilderness for 40 years hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus praise you jesus on the book of hosea chapter 2 verse 14 and 15 it's very very beautiful it's really touched my heart why the lord allowed the people of israel in the wilderness so it may be an answer to your questions so hosea chapter 2 verses 14 and 15 therefore i will now allure her and bring her into the wilderness and speak tenderly to her from there i will give her her vineyards and make the valley of achor a door of hope the bible says i will allure her i means the lord god her means we or the people of israel the lord wants to attract us so the lord is attracting his people and bringing them to the wilderness for what because the lord wants to speak to their heart in our lives sometimes the lord wants to speak to us but we are very very busy so what happens the lord allows wilderness experience so we have some times before the lord so when you listen this word of god some of you may be in your in your beds you may be sick the lord is speaking to your heart ignatius of loyola he was a very powerful soldier is very success he was very 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 dominant in his career but one day 
he became sick he was in the bed so a nurse gave him a bible through the reading of the bible he came to know the love of jesus and he he said only because i became sick i came to know the love of lord my dear friends the lord wants to speak to your heart that's why the lord spoke to hosea i will now allure her and bring her into the wilderness and speak tenderly to her Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. I have a priest friend. He got cancer. When he was in the hospital, I visit him. Then he said to me, "Soji, I was very very busy. I did not have sufficient time to sit before the Lord. I did not uh, put much effort in in having a conversation with my God. So the Lord now gave me this sickness. now i have sufficient time i can hear the the murmurings of the holy spirit the lord is speaking to my heart and i am i am content i am happy praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus thank you jesus so my dear brothers and sisters you may be in the wilderness it is the lord's plan so offer all you are wilderness experience to the lord and may the lord speak to your heart please close your eyes surrender all your worries and doubts to the holy spirit especially all your loneliness ask the lord to touch you lord speak to my heart I am in the wilderness for many years now. Lord, I want to hear your voice. Speak to my heart, O oh Lord. Touch my heart, O oh Lord. In my past life, I have committed lots of sins. Many times I abandoned you. Even though I abandoned you with a motherly love, you came after me. Jesus Jesus fill me with your love My dear sisters and brothers in Christ Jesus we are in front of the blessed sacrament let us give him glory and honor for all our wilderness experiences all our lonely experiences so now when we give him glory and honor when we proclaim that he is good what happens we receive his omnipotent power we receive his presence into our lives you may be sick you may be downtrodden you may be lonely offer all our wilderness experience to him and give him glory and honor and let us sing together the beautiful song oh god is god hallelujah 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 thank you jesus he put a song of praise in this heart of mine and god is 
good. Clap your hands. All the time. Uh, sing together. Through the darkest night, His light will shine. God is good. God is good. Yes, Lord. All the time. Oh Jesus. God is good. God is good. All the time. All the time. He put a song of praise in this heart of mine. God is good. God, God is, is good. good. All the time. Through the darkest night, His light will shine. God is good. God is good. All the time. Hallelujah. All the time he is good. Lord, now we thank you for all our wilderness experiences. Lord, thank you for giving us your presence. Thank you, Jesus, for your comfort. Thank you, Jesus, for your love. Thank you for your touch. Lord, I ask you to touch your people. Jesus, Jesus, now when I give them a blessing, Lord, I ask you to Give them your comfort. Touch them, Jesus. Now receive the blessing. Place your hands on your heart. Receive his blessing. Sharabana. Jesus. 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 Thank you, Lord. Jesus, 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 Jesus,